Next, we're going to look at two additional features we have in PowerSchool, one of which we did not have in iNow, and this might be a big help to us and particularly a big help to the cafeteria. If you remember last year with all the COVID mess going on, the cafeteria started getting an exact lunch count every morning of how many students were planning on eating lunch. Well, now you can do this in PowerSchool. I don't know if we're going to do it or not, but this is a real simple option where we're going to take and go over here to the fork and knife. We're going to click fork and knife. And when we do that, boom, right there, you have your option to put in how many student lunches, how many student other information they're going to have, which I think for us, the only thing we would need is maybe student lunch and adult lunch, and then, of course, submit it here on the right-hand side. And that information would go to the cafeteria, assuming the cafeteria is set up to receive that. I don't know yet if our school is going to be doing it that, but that's a cool option we have. Another really cool feature we have this year in PowerSchool is going to be the student information button. On the student information button, you can click on that and it looks like the backpack over there. And when you click on it, it brings up a wealth of information for us. Now we're gonna pick on a student. And once again, remember these are fictitious people. So we're not giving away any student information here, but we're gonna click on Fabian again. You know Fabian, he's my boy. And what do you see? You see that as a quick look, you have got every class that Fabian is taking, what his grades are in every one of those classes, what his attendance is in every one of those classes. All that information is provided right here as a very quick, simple look for you. You also have attendance, overall school attendance down there at the bottom. Now, if you take and look at this top right hand side where it says select screens there you get some other options you can look at things i want to point out down here at the bottom teacher comments so all those comments that i've taught you how to put in here all you have to do is click on that and it'll bring up all the comments that you have left behind you also have um, log entries and i'm honestly not sure what that is Quick lookup is where we were. If you want to see what Fabian's schedule is, click on the schedule right there, and you can see what his schedule is. A lot of different options you have for Fabian, all right here on the, the quick access, real easy to get to. That's it for this lesson, short and sweet, just the way we like it. Let me know if you have any questions.